Hi, this is Fred from Fred's Tiny Houses and I wanted to show you a little bit of the water system, the hot water system that I've put in this tiny house. It's a gravity-fed hot water system, uh, hippie style, and involves a wood heater and a tank that lives in the roof and a way to collect the passive solar heat from the sun. So first off, this is the wood heater that I uh, designed and welded together. Um, it's got several pieces that I want to show you, um, several aspects. Um, there's air intake at the front here, as well as at the back. Um, and it's a rocket stove informed uh, wood heater, which means that I took um, rocket stove principles to help uh, create it. So there's two baffles that uh, are inside the stove, which force the um, fire, the hot flame, onto this pipe. This is grade A copper. Um, this is, say, the cold coming from the bottom of my water tank, which I'll show you in a moment. It goes in here, the fire hits it very strongly, and then, of course, the heat rises and it exits out here. Then um, the uh, piping takes a turn and goes up alongside the uh, flue, which I have um, packed with rock wool. Um, to keep the, both the pipe and the flue very, very warm. So what we're looking at here is the underside of the water tank. On the other side of this water tank is uh, a piece of triple pane glass out of a freezer top section out of a supermarket. A friend of mine put me onto this. It uh, basically allows very little heat to transfer through it so that the tank on the other side here is painted black and it absorbs the solar radiation and the heat you know, from, from the sun to warm the water in the tank. So uh, taking you through here, the, the black uh, pipe is all uh, the lagging, the pipe insulation around the three quarter inch copper. The very center one is the one I want to direct your attention to. Um, this, has got, uh, this is where the, um, the pipe exits the tank goes into the wall and heads towards the wood heater. So it goes through the wall, you can see here. All the way down. And comes out where we were before. Um, again, that nice hot flame on the pipe warms the water. It rises and rises then up through this um, pipe alongside the chimney and then exits about three quarters of the way up the, uh, the flue, comes across again through the wall and then back out and comes in about halfway up that tank. Now because it's a thermal siphon we need to keep water in that um, pipe all the time. So I'm standing about where the kitchen sink's going to be, uh, which is going to be one use of the hot water here. Um, the hot water also comes down from the tank, gravity fed, for the bath that's in here, and then also be going over to the washing machine that'll, that we have in mind for outside. So I didn't mention uh, before that the wood heater is designed in SketchUp, so those designs are available. Um, and you can have a look at what uh, is involved on my website, uh, in the photo gallery in particular, um, with lots more detail of the hot water system there. Um, so check out my website at uh, fredstinyhouses.com.au. I also wanted to say um, where I got a bit of my inspiration for this system. Uh, a couple places. Uh, the Aproveco Research Center in Oregon has uh, two papers that I found very, very useful. One was the 10 Design Principles of Wood Heaters um, by Dr. Larry Waruski. 
I may have butchered his name, sorry Larry. Um, and then another piece from the Aproveco people called Capturing Heat, very, very good. Uh, the third uh, influence on me was uh, a book that's now out of print, but you can get it on Amazon. It's called Handmade Hot Water Systems by uh, Art Sussman and Robert Frazier. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Thank you.